Mga bay, maraming salamat sa pag-click ng aking video. Please support me by hitting that subscribe button at notification bell para maging updated sa aking mga future uploads. Manny Pacquiao nagbigay ng apat na pangalan ng mga buksingerong nagpahirap sa kanya. Magto 25 years na ngang professional boxer si Manny Pacquiao. Magmula noong nagsimula siyang maging pro sa taong 1995, ay nagkaroon na siya ng kabuuang 71 bouts na kung saan ay meron siyang 62 wins, 39 by a knockout, 7 losses at 2 draws. Si Pacman ay isang warrior sa loob ng boxing ring at marami na rin siyang mga digmaan na pinagdaanan. Pagaman hindi perfecto ang kanyang boxing record, ay may pagmamalaki naman na hindi siya nag-cherry pick ng mga kalaban. Nakuha man niya ang mga championship sa walong magkakaibang weight division, ang boxing record na kung saan siya lang ang nag-iisang mayroon, ay dumaan muna siya sa butas ng karayom. Sa isang interview kamakailan ng Manila Bulletin sa Fighting Senator, ay binigay nito ang apat na pangalan ng mga buksingero na kung saan ay nagpahirap sa kanya. Ito ay ang mga Meksikanong sina Juan Manuel Marquez, Eric Morales, Antonio Margarito at ang Puerto Rican na si Miguel Cotto. Walang duda na si Juan Manuel Marquez ay ang pinakamahirap na nakalaban ni Pacquiao. Umabot ang kanilang laban sa apat na pagkakataon na kung saan nagwakas sa isang round 6 knockout. That Marquez has made in and walking right there. And there goes the knockdown. Walking right there. Uh, Peck out laid a straight left right down the pipe and down goes Marquez with his gloves touched but that's considered a knockdown. Bagaman umiscore si Pacman ng tatlong knockdown sa first round sa unang laban nila ay naging tabla pa rin ang resulta nito hindi pinanghinaan ng loob si Marquez at nagawa pa rin itong bumawi sa mga sumusunod na rounds Pangalawang laban nila ay pinanalo ni Pacquiao sa isang split decision. Parehong boxers ang nakapagpatama ng mga solid na suntok, ngunit si Manny ang nakascore ng isang knockdown sa third round. Here you see the knockdown right here. Beautiful short left. And it would have been down again the second time except for the ropes held him up. And then he came back and stunned. Pacquiao slightly bent the end of the round. That was the same sequence of punches. Ang pangatlong laban nila ay ang pinaka-close fight sa apat na kanilang naging laban na kung saan pinanalo pa rin ni Pacquiao via majority decision. Right hand. There's a... He's the effect of the Or custom to this weight. Good left hand by Pacquiao. Here you see what Marquez and, and, and Pacquiao both was concerned about getting counter punch. Anytime either one of them four punches. Si Eric Morales naman ang nakapagbigay ng unang talo ni Pacman sa mga laban niya sa Amerika. Ang unang laban nila ay umabot hanggang 12 rounds at pinanalo ni Morales via unanimous decision. And again, and the blinding speed of Pacquiao's apparent and Morales takes him across the ring. It's a great fight. I'm Pacquiao, he's he the bigger good. guy. Good hard right hand by Morales. Pacquiao comes on with the left. 
Good left hook by Morelli. Inside. Pacquiao never saw it coming. There's another left hook he didn't see. There's a right uppercut that landed too. Pacquiao's doing some damage. Morales is left. Just under the belt line. Cortez let him at it. Oh. Great right hand lead. Oh. Wobbled Pacquiao again. Well, Pacquiao took that punch very good. Morales comes back and comes with the straight right hand that has been working beautifully for him all night. Sa pangalawa nilang pagkikita ay isang napaka-determinadong Manny Pacquiao ang kinalaban ni Morales. At sa pagkakataon ngang ito ay nagawang in out ng Filipino ang Meksikano sa round 10 upang ipaghiganti ang nauna nilang laban. Nais namang makabawi ni Morales sa pangatlo nilang laban ngunit pinatunayan ni Pacquiao na siya ang mas magaling at mas malakas sumuntok na boksingero. Malinaw kung bakit si Juan Manuel Dinamita Marquez at Eric Morales ay kasali sa mga nabanggit ni Pacquiao ngunit hindi sigurado ang rason kung bakit nasali si Miguel Cotto sa listahan gayong bugbog sarado ang inabot nito kay Pacman. Siguro ay dahil ito ang pangalawang laban pa lamang ni Manny sa welterweight division pagkatapos niyang pinaritiro ang boxing legend na si Oscar De La Hoya. Noong panahong yon si Miguel Cotto ay isa sa mga pinakamalaking pangalan sa boxing na natalo lamang isang beses sa isang napaka-controversial fight laban kay Antonio Margarito. For, oh, that's a right solid hand, knockdown. Yeah. That is a definite knockdown. A right to the head sent Cotto down. There's nothing flukish about that one. He brought the, he brought the punches up from the body. Beautifully. Pacquiao handle. Pacquiao turning, turning back. Perfect. And a nice text body shot by Pacquiao as well. Oh, that's text. Oh, nice, nice movement from Cotto to avoid that oh! shot. He's down again. Combination puts him down. All right, let's take a look at it. Pacquiao, just a brilliant left hook. Look at it, it's a one-punch knockdown. And you could see he was actually flagging in the wind, it looked like, before he went down. Pacquiao with the flurries and a beautiful left hook of a sort of an uppercut. There it is, series of uppercuts. Cotto coming forward using his momentum and Pacquiao oh. with his power. Si Antonio Margarito naman ay nakalaban ni Pacquiao noong November 13, 2010 at kahit naging isang boxing clinic ang naging laban nilang iyon, 
ay tinuturing pa rin ni Manny si Margarito na isa sa mga pinakamahirap niyang nakalaban. Sinabi ng pamansang kamao na napakalaki ng disadvantage niya sa reach at timbang. Si Margarito ay may height na 5 feet 11 inches at sinasabing sa gabi ng laban nila ni Pacquiao ay tumimbang ng 165 pounds. Sinabi ni Manny na napakalaki at napakalakas ni Margarito. Mayroon daw isang pagkakataon na tinamaan siya sa rip cage at kamunti ka na daw siyang mapaluhod. Here you see Manny Pacquiao landing all of these precise punches, even with a guard up high defense, he still pinpoints areas where he can get through and penetrate. But to me, the fight, the perfect fight is the way he fought the last round, punching, moving, in and out, taking advantage of that great natural quarter. Margarito banging him against the ropes here, trying to get to Pacquiao's body. That could change the fight. Pacquiao fights. And here comes And he Manny. turns it around and banks Margarito viciously. That badly bruised right eye of Margarito. Pacquiao hits him again with the left. Margarito. As I was telling him, I thought that Pacquiao had hit the head. He said, man, he may have been, but it's going to be a hard fight. A lot of commission to make Margarito shave off the beard, which probably they would have done. Physically fatigued, both. That's what he's saying. Ready to go. That's what he's saying to Cole. But the referee's doing a good job. I think it's his right this year. Because as long as the guy's punching back. At yun na nga mga bay, ang apat sa pinakamahihirap na naging kalaban ni Manny Pacquiao ay yun mismo sa kanya. Alam ko na may ibang mga pangalan kayong gustong banggitin, kaya't I-share mo sa amin yan by leaving it in the comment section below. Please like this video at huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe. Maraming salamat sa pananood!